Well, hello again. It's Andre with uh, River Rat Shanty Boat Project, and uh, we're moving uh, along quite nicely. Not as quickly as I'd like to, but it's getting there. I'm having to scrounge around for different windows and doors and things to install, so uh, it's going to take a little time. I've got a pile of lumber here. When I get that used up, it's time to get real serious about it. Uh, I do have one window frame. It looks like it came out of an old storm door or something. Uh, screen door or storm door that um, I am going to use for the front. Actually, I'll show you. I'll be using this for the front. Hang on. I'll get you over there. You can see where I've already framed it out. And it's about 30, 32 by 40 roughly so I'm gonna frame that on the outside with a one by two I'll show you my pile of lumber here it's full of lumber let me get this out of here I'll show you my pile of lumber that uh, I've got to use up yet I've got all the anchors in to hold the framework to the deck And uh, I'm trying to progress from there. So, like I said, I'll be framing that out. Now, I do have a new air nailer that I've never used. It's sitting in a box. I think it's about time I take it out and learn how to use it. Okay, well, here's my nailer, or stapler, I guess. It's pneumatic, air-operated. And I just took it out of the box. There's the instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions and figure out how to get all this put together and then I'm going to give it a test drive. Okay, I've read the directions. Basically, I have a guide here where I'm supposed to shoot. This is my adjustment for depth. I've got my, my, I'm using some, came with some staples and nail samples. These look like they're about one and a quarter. All I gotta do is hook up some air to it, shoot in some wood, see how it works, and uh, we'll go from there. Meanwhile, they do recommend a, uh, and this is for all compressors, a filter uh, so that um, you catch any moisture in the compressor and in the tank before it gets to your tool. If you don't have one, they give you a little, little bottle of oil and some wrenches for adjustment and that's uh, to lubricate a couple of drops in the, in the air inlet uh, and then and you're good to go about every day or whenever you use it so basically uh, that's it I'm gonna go ahead and learn how to use this thing and be comfortable with it and uh, I'll start framing up that window section on the outside so I can slip the glass in there and hold it in place well you guys know what it's like to get a new toy anyway I uh, figured out how to use this pretty simple Looks like it's going to work fine. You press down, bing. Very simple. These are inch and a quarter. They're uh, perfect, actually, for what I'm going to be using for. They recommend 5 eighths to 1 and a quarter inch staples and or nails to use. And so uh, I'll be using that to nail in the frame and you know, a couple other places. A little bit light duty. I mean, these are little, these are little brads and little little staples that come in handy in some places so uh, on to the next thing Now, I want to caution you. If you 
going to be using an error like this, air, air stapler or an error. Be very careful. These things, <coughs> very light trigger pressure, trigger an inch and a quarter nail, right through your finger. So, as you can see, quite a bit of pressure here. I'm using the brad because I have a very short edge here. Anyway, so as you can see, the nailer is under a lot of pressure. It takes very little pressure on your trigger. This is supposed to be easy. Okay. Anyway, you need to take this off. So I can get the nailer underneath there. It rained all day yesterday. Most of the night before. So, right. So, so I'll put this in here, right where it should go, hanging down low. In here. I hope I have enough nails. Okay. Uh, look where that spark's coming from. I'm really in love with this Brad nailer. It just makes life so much. You know, I've seen people using air nailers and on construction sites. And, How easy it is compared to that's well, always a good idea. Disconnect the air if you leave this thing hanging around. Otherwise, you can actually set that thing off. And yeah, that would hurt. That would really hurt. Okay, at this point, I am going to use this. Got some kind of an old rubber on it there that probably is useless. So I'll end up caulking the outside. Oh, excuse me. And that is kind of what this is going to be. Okay. so it be removable in case I break it. Oh, here we go. Screw this in. And that'll be temporarily where the window goes. So I'll have to Put some strips in there on the sides, which I planned on ahead anyway. I didn't want to make this hole too small or restricted to one side. One size, I mean. So I purposely made it just a tad wide and a tad tall. All right, so that's. Gotta be removable for 
the fact that if I break it, I get a different window frame, something happens, I will be able to replace it by just removing these screws on the inside where the furring strips are. So what I'm going to do on the outside is to put a one by three, I guess, to uh, fill in the gap. And probably the same on the inside, I don't know. Maybe put a one by three, move the window over some, give it a little more strength on the corner. Okay, that's uh, installing the window, or prepping to install the window, I guess. And that'll be that. Until next time, uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We got many more videos coming up on all different aspects of building, putting this thing together. And that'll be my front window. The door will sit here. I'll probably double this up to give it more strength. And then the back will be the same. And then I'll have the two foot high by six foot long windows on each side, which will afford me a, a, lot, of, a lot of view from inside. And it's looking like I'm not going to put the helm all the way up front anyway. I'm going to put it as far as the cables will reach, probably two-thirds of the way up. Uh, build just a, a slight angle board as my helm. I don't want it to go all the way to the floor because I plan to put a carpet there. So again, until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you got any comments on, on what I'm doing, and, uh, you know, negative, positive, doesn't matter. If it's negative, I'll take it with a grain of salt, and if it's positive, I may end up using it. So again, thanks for watching.